This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series P66F5565 or 5567 laptop computer with a cracked screen and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen. Now this has a long series of part numbers and Dell identifies these laptops with these long series of part numbers and I just want to give them all to you to make sure that you're working on the right one. For the Dell 15 5000 series there's uh, several different generations and the procedure is different for each generation and I'm giving you the procedure for this particular generation which is the P66 6F and the 5560 series so that's 5565 or 5567 so uh, let's talk about the part number first of course that's a mouthful and let's figure out how to identify the laptop uh, first of all the laptop is going to look like this uh, the touchpad is going to be off-center there's going to be a little indentation in the front and it's going to have a silver palm rest the next place to identify what model laptop it is is Dell 15 5000 series, but there's quite a few. And on the bottom, it'll say Dell P66F, P66F01, and finally there's a service tag number right here, HKBWXF2. And if you go on their website, it'll identify the exact model number and the exact screen in it. Okay, next, let's talk about the screen. Uh, this particular model series has four different types of screens. They're the HD non-touch, full HD non-touch, the HD touch, and the full HD non-touch. Uh, they're all going to look about the same. Uh, the connector is going to be slightly different but I'll show you that in a little while. And the way to identify what type of screen this particular laptop has is if you look over here. This one says 15.6 inch HD display. If it was touch it would say touch display and if it was full HD if it, it would say FHD display. So hopefully that clears up the confusion and doesn't add to it. And also, if you look at the service tag on the back and go on the Dell website, look it up. Uh, it will identify the screen on the Dell website from the service tag. Okay, let's get started with this one. Uh, let's look at the tools we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one's the size. Then we have the PH0 electronic screwdriver, which is smaller, a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables, a hobby or an X-Acto knife to lift up adhesive tape, and finally a sparger tool to pry things open, and which we're going to use in this laptop. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to snap off the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. This one doesn't have any screws, so you can just start snapping it off and just put your fingertips or your fingernails on the screen side and work your way around the screen like so. For you, it might be a little bit harder if it's the first time that it's coming off. And do the same thing on the bottom. There is some tricks on the bottom here. There's a seam here which needs to be opened up. And the way we do this is with the spudger tool. So if you insert the spudger tool from the seam and gently work your way through to open up this, or snap open this seam, being careful not to damage anything. And then once you do that, the seam is opened up, you can snap the bezel off. Then we have the screen assembly. The next thing you want to do is remove the screen itself from the screen assembly. You have to remove four screws, two at the top and two at the bottom. When we do this, we want to tilt the screen assembly back so the screen doesn't fall forward on you. There's one screw, two, 
three, and four. Once we do that, we grab the screen by the tabs and gently lay the screen down on the keyboard assembly. Be careful not to touch the power button when you do this. Once we do that, we have to disconnect the connector. And what we're gonna do is use our tweezers to unthread the cable so we have a little bit more room to work with. And then we wanna lift up the adhesive tape that's holding the connector down. For that, we use our hobby knife or X-Acto knife to lift up a corner of the adhesive tape and gently use our fingertips to peel that adhesive tape back like so. Once we do that, we grab the connector by on both sides and there's a metal bar that I didn't see before. What we want to do with the metal bar is we want to lift up this metal bar like this and then once we do that we can pull the connector back like so and it's disconnected. Okay I'm going to show you how to reconnect it again. Um, to reconnect it we slide the connector back in and put the metal bar down. If the metal bar comes down that means the connector is engaged. So we're gonna disconnect the connection again and look at the screen. Uh, this particular screen is a 15.6 inch HD EDP screen. The part number is 156WHUTPA1. So like I said, there's four different screens and they all look very similar. The tabs are gonna be in the same place, the connector is in the same place. The only difference is for the touch screens, the connector is gonna be bigger. This is a 30 pin connector for both the HD and the FHD non-touch screen and the touch screens are gonna have a 40 pin connector. So that's gonna be the only difference. So once you know the type of screen or even if you know the part number, you can um, go on our website to find the right screen. Go to www.screensurgeons.com and uh, there will be a search box and then you can uh, enter the, your model number and then they'll come up with the right model. Um, there's a chat box also on the lower hand side, lower right hand side of our website and if we need some help identifying the right screen we can help you identify the right screen. Okay, uh, what you get with us is if you order this screen from us from screensurgeons.com is this exact same toolkit that I use in the video that comes for free with the screen. We ship for free in the United States using priority mail to the free day shipping and we can also ship to most countries around the world just when checking out select your country. We have a two year warranty on our screens and free email technical support. Okay, once you do get your screen in, uh, confirm that it is the right screen. The part number might not be exactly the same, but it needs to be either touch or non-touch, HD or FHD, and the connector needs to match. So reconnect the connector, like I showed you, put the bar back in, put the screen back in the screen assembly, uh, put the cable in the plastic catch back in, and then screw the two screws in at the top and two at the bottom, and then all you do is snap the screen bezel back in. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.